Hi Leo, welcome to your June monthly horoscope reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you just felt called to click on this video, there may be some messages here for you. Welcome to my channel, my name is Siobhan, it's 2Kitty and Beyond, and let's go ahead and jump into your reading. So let's see what the overall energy is for Leo in the month of June 2021. Then we'll find out what the obstacle is that you're facing this month, the insight and guidance around the overall situation, and the potential outcome for the month of June. All right, Leo, what is the overall energy for June? Oh, you have three cards. The Ace of Swords, the Justice card, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Well, more than I was expecting, but we'll take it. Why not? Well, there's a random card that was flipped over in the middle of the deck, so I will take that as well. What is the obstacle and opportunity to overcome? Seven of Swords in reverse. What is the insight and guidance? Six of Wands. That's nice. And what is the potential outcome? Two of Wands. Okay, so Leo, this month is looking like there's a lot in the mental space going on, but there's possibly something going on with the relationship as well. So the overall energy you have this month is the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So from these, I kind of see... I, there's definitely going to be clarity coming in, but it might not be in the way that you expect. So there could be information that comes in in a way that it's like you you weren't prepared for it. Um, it could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be shocking. It's just you didn't see it coming, if that makes sense. And it's something to do with the way that you create balance in your life and this again because the two of cups kind of came out with these three overall energy cards it could have to do with partnerships or relationships of any kind so it doesn't have to be romantic it can be it can be platonic it can be you know like a business partnership or something like that especially with the justice card here this could be to do with some kind of a um, like a contract but that being said, I could also see this as like a soulmate contract and um, not, not a physical 3D contract, but more like a fifth dimensional um, soul level contract, which is what I do. I clear negative soulmate contracts in the Akashic record. So that could be something that you weren't expecting to do this month or have to work on but we are in mercury retrograde until june 22nd so it is a good opportunity to go over and revise some of these older things that may still be kind of lurking around there's a lot of sort of karmic faded things coming up to the surface in eclipse season as well which this month is going to be a solar eclipse in the new moon and we had a <clears throat> lunar eclipse last month at the end of May. So this is a time of really heavy transformation. And when Mercury's retrograde, there's a heavy focus on the mind, how we think, how we communicate, how we set boundaries within relationships, what kind of things that we sign up for, or did we sign up for in the past that maybe don't align with us anymore. So this the obstacle to overcome this month is the seven of swords in reverse. So here it's like I see that the struggle is getting over this old way of thinking or this old way of interacting with people, um, potentially again in relationships. It doesn't have to be, but I, you know, that two of cups here didn't come out for nothing. So setting boundaries, being very clear about what you will and won't accept in relationships, in partnerships, in friendships, in family dynamics, whatever it is, being very clear about what you will and will not accept and not allowing any kind of self-deceit where you're denying your own needs in favor of someone else's or deceit from others, you know, like red flags and things like that and ignoring them. 
If you've been doing that in the past, this is going to come to the surface this month for you to address it. So you might get extra triggered or you might have some of these things come into your awareness in a way that you weren't expecting. But justice is being served here. This is happening for a reason. There's going to be clarity around these patterns, which is what you need to be able to move forward and be successful. So you've got the insight and guidance coming through from spirit as the six of wands. So this is success, leadership, moving forward getting recognition for all of the work that you've done, for all of the effort you've put in, um, getting motivated and getting moving. So I really feel like this is connected to some of these old patterns that are going on in the mental space and with relationships, what you will and won't allow with your boundaries, that kind of thing. As soon as you start to shift some of those patterns, especially if they're you know past life stuff, this can be really profound for you in being able to get you moving forward again in a really successful and productive way. And then with the potential outcome, you have the two of wands. So there's going to be some kind of an option for you to decide between the world is in your hands. The world is your oyster is what I'm hearing. So you have the option this month, maybe towards the end of the month, to choose a new path. You know, if you've broken some karmic cycle from the past, if you've chosen something different this time through your conscious awareness, your intention and your actions, then the options are gonna be a lot more open to you moving forward. There's gonna be different paths that you can go down. And um, it's just gonna be up to you what resonates with you the most. It's like both of these paths are going to be um, somewhat aligned with you and it's just going to be up to you what one is most aligned if that makes any sense yeah it's like there's going to be there's going to be options for you and it's really just about what you want what you want to create what you want to do with your life what you want to interact with who you want to have around you all of these kinds of things are going to come into question and ultimately it's 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 helping to create balance in your life You've got a lot of twos, you know, the justice card is like a balancing type of energy, the two of cups and the two of wands. So there's balance between partnerships this month. I think that's going to be the main theme. And let's see what other cards want to come through for my Leos in June. And if this reading doesn't resonate as much for you, you can always check out your uh, moon and rising sign if this is your sun sign. All of the videos should be up on my channel by now, so you can check those out. And I also recommend watching these videos at the end of the month as well, so you can look back and kind of see in a more practical, tangible way how these energies may have played out for you. Okay, so for Leo, what other messages would like to come through for the month of June? Her eye ever open, goddess Tara and Tibetan quartz. I can't remember which other sign got this. It was either Aries or Gemini. I don't know, I'll have to go back, but one of the other signs got this as well. Oh, and rare success. Um, I think it was Taurus who got this one. So if you have those in your chart as well, it's just like a double message for you. Grace for the grand gesture interesting and that one wanted to come out in reverse normally i don't take these cards reversed but this one is, is saying yes this is actually a reversed energy and crossroad of destiny okay so i'm going to start with this one i feel like there's going to be a crossroads up ahead you know that's the two of wands energy it's like there's two paths you can go down you've come to a crossroad and it's up to you to decide which direction you want to go what path is going to serve you the best and there's no bad option here it's not like you have to choose between you know it's not like sophie's choice or anything like that um it's going to be more so what's most aligned with you and where your current situation is at with your wants and needs so allow this crossroads of destiny to come in this is goddess hecate in mica so if you use any of those crystals or you work with goddesses you can um, employ some of these tools to support you in this this month on your journey but I just really feel like 
Uh, again, there's a lot of destined, faded type of energy here around eclipse season. That's quite normal. Um, we come to kind of expect these things on the spiritual journey. We know that these increase our ability to clear karmic patterns from the past, to understand things, to gain awareness, and to move forward on our spiritual journey. So use that, Leo. Use that because it's going to help you. Um, now, grace for the grand gesture archangel raphael and malachite these are both very heart-centered energies and the grand gesture could be towards somebody else but it's in reverse and because you have you have kind of like this theme of trying to create balance within communication and relationships i do feel like maybe you're not going to go forward with the grand gesture maybe you're not going to kind of put yourself out there in a big way but maybe that's not such a bad thing you know mercury's in retrograde and communication can be a little bit wonky at this time so maybe wait until towards the end of the month you know after the 22nd even though there will be mercury retrograde shadow phase to deal with as well which usually lasts about a week or 10 days so you know maybe leave it till july if that's the case to make the grand gesture if you're thinking about reaching out to someone or having a conversation that's going to be really impactful or addressing some some legal issues or something like that whatever it is maybe leave that big um, actual action until a bit later but it's fine to think about it this month it's fine to kind of go over it in your head and kind of reassess things and that's actually going to be helpful in the long run and then you have rare success which i love because you have the six of wands so leos if you guys are looking for career success or business success or you know success of any kind in in those areas then go for it because um, this might be the opportunity that you're looking for to create some headway the six of wands is all about victory and then you have rare success so this could be like right place right time type of energy so use that if it resonates if it comes up as an opportunity or as an option uh, keep your eyes open for these opportunities her eye ever open male or female if you're watching this your eye is opening you're becoming more aware you have access to information you did not before again that's that ace of swords energy it's like there's going to be sudden epiphanies clarity insight guidance intuitive knowings that kind of thing so pay attention to these things because they're going to help you to make this kind of decision you're going to you're going to figure out what you want. Um, you're going to weigh up your options. You might eventually communicate some of this stuff, but I think first and foremost, it's going to be more internal. And then as time goes on, you'll have the option to choose the path you want to go down to potentially make a gesture of some kind, but perhaps not. It's going to be up to you. Either way, whatever you choose, I want to be very clear that the cards here and the energy that I'm getting for your month of June, it does signify success. So whether you go down this path or that path, whatever you're doing, you're successful. It's all divinely guided. It's all faded. And I, I can hear some of you asking, well, if there's two different paths, which one is the which one is the right one or which one is the faded one? Well, both of them. Um, it's kind of like in a role-playing video game where you have different ways that you can interact with the characters and there's like different storylines that you can interact with at different times, but there's always like that main storyline, you know, and that is always going to be there, but you can choose to do it in a different order. You can choose to interact with the people in a different way. You can choose to go down the main storyline first so it's almost like free will is a big big part of this but at the same time yeah you have your options kind of laid out for you and your free will is more so about how you interact with those options and which options you take at which time so there's really no wrong way to do it because all of these things have been laid out and created by you both paths are created by you in your highest form right before you incarnated and now it's just going to be like well what do you want to do now that you're here so let's find out if there's anything else that would like to come through for you guys in june for leo june 2021 <laughs> my god every single 
Every single sign has been getting this card, I think, almost every single one. Um, a new start is coming, just generalized new moon energy. So a new start is coming. I feel like putting this right up on top here like that. It's This is the kind of overarching energy. Everything that's happening here is opening things up for a new beginning. There's lots of options. Keep your eyes open for new information, new opportunities in relationships, or at least new revelations within those relationship dynamics, that kind of thing. And this new start is going to be very successful for you. So there's going to be something about it that you feel triumphant in or that you, you feel this certain level of success. If it's external and, you know, more physical, great. If it's more internal and, you know, subjective, fantastic. Either way. Okay, let's see. Anything else for Leo? Okay. Got our final two cards here. It's time to release negativity, which is the full moon in Scorpio energy. So Leo, yeah, that's that seven of, of swords energy. It's not, it's not a great energy. I hate the seven of swords. It's probably my least favorite card in the deck because it's all about deception and lying and stealing and thievery and just, you know, like not being upfront about things. And so I feel like you're releasing any kind of negativity where you've been self-sabotaging, you know, like negative thoughts, um, self-criticism, really just being, you know, hard on yourself. And that, that takes a big hit on your self-confidence, which then impacts your relationships. Because if you have a bad relationship with yourself, how do you expect to have good relationships with other people? Everything is a mirror. So everything that you're seeing on the outside is a reflection of what's going on on the inside. So fix it inside. Uh, release that negativity. Use the full moon to your advantage this month um, to allow yourself to release and get rid of some of this stuff. Purge any of these nar n nar nar <laughs> negative karmic patterns. I love it when my brain works too fast for my mouth. Mercury retrograde things be like... Okay, so and then you have take time to breathe out, which is the disseminating moon. So take a breather here, Leo. I feel like you've been kind of go, go, go for a while now. And Mercury retrograde is asking you to kind of take things a bit slower, take a step back, just focus on yourself and what's going on inside you and the other stuff the relationship stuff the life path stuff that's all gonna that's all gonna come about on its own just give yourself a, a little bit of time to breathe keep your eyes open lots of signs and synchronicities are going to be coming in for you there's a new start a big opportunity here for success so have faith <laughs> that it's all unfolding as it should that you're supported that you're guided and that the assistance that you that you need if you need it will be there Okay, and if you do need any additional help clearing some karmic patterns or finding out if you have any, um, we can always do a reading for you. I do Akashic readings in the soul realignment modality. That's primarily how I find out um, these karmic patterns, but I can also do it through Reiki and tarot and oracle readings as well. There, there's many different kind of routes to find that kind of information. So if you guys are interested in any of the services that I offer, you can find the information in the description box below the video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you resonated. And check out Vibe Tribe Notions for some protecting and cleansing sprays if you guys are interested. It's not an affiliate or a paid promotion or anything like that. She's a friend and a client, and I just want to support her amazing products and business. So thank you so much. I'll leave the email for that, um, the email to contact me and the website for that down below. Much love, guys. We'll see you next month. Bye.